Hey guys, Andy here. Today I'm unboxing the 42mm stainless steel Apple Watch in space black. Now I'm upgrading from the space grey aluminium version from launch back in 2015. With the box open we can see that the Apple Watch is amazingly well presented and feels significantly more premium than the sports model. Lifting the Apple Watch for the first time it definitely feels a lot more weighty than the aluminium version but before we take a look at the watch let's check out the included accessories. As with all Apple products the paperwork is very well presented. We have a simple set of instructions along with a smaller size sports band if you have a smaller wrist and an information sheet. The instructions are very basic yet easy to follow showing the functions of the watch, how to change the strap as well as how to charge the watch itself. Underneath this we have a stainless steel charging puck unlike the plastic one found with the sports model as well as a USB mains power supply. Once out of the box we can definitely see that the stainless steel model feels and looks like a far superior product. I was slightly concerned about the shiny aesthetics of this version and thought it may be a little bit too much out there but once out of the lighting of the Apple store we can see that the colour and finish are much more refined. Now this version is an LTE equipped one and it has a red dot on the crown to show this. A lot of people have been very apprehensive about this but in my own personal opinion I think it looks quite nice. This particular model comes with a black sports band. Now this is a very comfortable strap but I already own the same colour from my previous Apple watch and it would have been nice to choose a different colour. Unfortunately this isn't an option that Apple currently provide. Ok with the covering finally off we can truly appreciate the finish of the stainless steel version. So the black stainless steel model features a ceramic back and a sapphire screen compared to the iron X glass found in the sports models. Now the screens may look identical but the sapphire model does appear to be slightly more glossy. The space black model also features a diamond like carbon coating which should enhance its durability. The only negative I can state about the stainless steel model is that it's a fingerprint magnet. Now I like to keep my gadgets looking new and find myself cleaning the stainless steel version quite a bit but this is fortunately easy enough to do with a lint free cloth. Conclusively I think that you really have to try on the stainless steel model to fully appreciate the difference and upgrade it brings over the sports version. Owning the aluminium iteration since launch and having never tried on any of the other watches personally I couldn't fully appreciate how much more of a premium feel it has. As a result I don't believe now that I could really go back to an aluminium upper watch. So thanks for watching. If you found this video useful please click that like button. I'm also going to be uploading another video shortly comparing the Series 3 Space Grey sports model with this stainless steel model. So if that's something you'd like to see please subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.